What's going on guys, Joe Rock here with a, another tips and tricks for Android Studio. And this one's gonna be instant run. So we're going over um, one of the biggest really features of Android Studio 2.0. And like I said, that is called instant run. And basically just the way it sounds, it allows developers to be able to build faster. Um, so there's, there's many times when we're, we're, we're building an application and we're changing just a few things on it and even when we do that we have to stop the app we have to rerun it it'll rebuild the application and then deploy out to the uh to the device um to deploy out the apk and even if this takes like 25 20 seconds but when when we do that four five six ten times uh what is that adding up to you know i mean this is it, it's really imperative to to shed off the seconds on this and and there's been times when i'm just constantly trying to tweak something and it just it really does add up to a lot of time and the longer it takes to deploy uh, the, the more you realize that so Google has obviously recognized this problem and has came out with the feature called instant run and basically what it does is it, it as you build your app what Android Studio will now do is will look at the changes that you made since your last build and then determine whether or not you need to actually it, it needs to actually rebuild the application and reinstall the APK or simply just apply the changes to the already existing APK and then rerun it. So, um, so very, very cool. And it makes sense. So, I mean, you have this huge, say, uh, you know, application, you change two lines of code. What Android Studio will now do, hopefully, is now take it, take those two lines of code, apply them to the your existing APK, and simply just show it live. And this will heavily, heavily impact our, our workflow by really speeding up development time and um, this is awesome guys and I've tried it a little bit so far I'm really impressed so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this um, so to, to get and to get the instant run since Android Studio 2.0 is still new be sure to get Android Studio 2.0 of course uh, to how to do that is to make sure to go to help about to see what version of Android Studio you're on if you're not on 2.0 or higher be sure to go back to help check for the update and it should ask you and because now it's in the stable channel it should ask you that you uh if you'd like to update it to 2.0 of course update it and after that it's really seamless to to get going with using instant run since it's a it's a feature you don't have to turn on or anything like that you just simply have to make sure that you're on 2.0 and that the plugin that you're using for gradle is up to date as well so which it should prompt you when you do a build so that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at this so let me go ahead and run my application I will run it on the image that I made and we did make an image of with the new Android emulator the 2.0 emulator uh, which so far I'm liking the performance on it very much if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out um, it is the last video and where we go over talking about the emulator and also we set up the image for it alright so we have our application here now so let's go ahead and take a look at making a small change and seeing what happens. And let me go ahead and configure my workspace to uh, to allow this visualization to be seen a little easier. All right, so now we don't have to kind of toggle between the two, we can kind of just see. So the, the, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start making some changes, guys, and, and we'll, we'll see what happens, you know. So I'm gonna come into my styles. As you know, this is the color primary, dark, and accent colors that we uh, apply to our theme. So I'm going to take my primary color and if I just simply want to change it to a solid red color and that's the only change that I've made and if see how this little lightning bolt now while it's running so Android Studio now knows that this uh, application is running and the lightning bolt is indicating uh, the instant run feature is now on so if I simply just hit this take a look at this and notice that it says applies the applies have been changed and the, the activity has restarted so uh, the activity won't always restart. I believe it, it's just only if it has to there's there's different scenarios and and to uh, Uncover them all is really just a kind of like a process, but it seems that when Android studio feels like it needs to restart the activity it will and that's that most it will do Sometimes it might rebuild the whole application, but even then the deployment time thanks to the faster ADB uh, processing is is still as almost as seamless, but you saw how, how seamless that was so if I go ahead and I go back to this change hit run 
it simply just applies it very quickly. It, that's that's awesome, guys. Because before, I mean, you would have to rebuild the whole app, the whole application, deploy out the APK to the deploy the APK out to the uh, to the emulator or your physical device, and rerun the whole thing. And you can easily see now that it's not doing that. Android Studio sees what it needs to be done and simply applies it. And just all it really did is restart the activity here. So that's just a style change. Let's go ahead and see if I um, can make it restart if I do something else. So um, I'm going to come into here and I'm going to come into my main activity which is controlling the action bar. So here is where I get an instance of the action bar. So if I do action bar uh, set icon and I just grab just any random icon in my in my uh, project right now and that's the only one now I've only changed one line of code or I'm sorry I've added one line of code. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Hit run. And there you have it guys. So I mean, same thing. It simply just recognize the change, apply the change and restart the activity. So what happens if I get rid of this? So I get rid of a line of code and I change a line of code before I added a line of code, but now I'm getting rid of a line of code and changing a line of code by changing the parameter in this by saying that I don't want it to display the home as up enabled. So, um, this is now two changes, what I'll do. And I'm kind of just going to start tacking on changes and to see if it really uh, behaves the same way. And, and sure enough, it did. So there's one thing. Um, let's go ahead and look at actually creating. Let's go ahead and add that back. So that's another change. Now let's go ahead and look at, we have these three fragments here, guys. Category, category one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and look at if we actually add another fragment to this. So I'm over here and I'm, you know, just normally just programming, just coming in here and adding some stuff. And I go ahead and with this change, I go in ahead and I added in a, uh, another, a whole nother fragment to this view pager. And that's going to change the adapter. So let's see what happens now when I do the instant run. There you have it. So, uh, as you can see, once again, it just noticed the changes. It added the home as up enabled back. It saw that I needed another fragment. It simply just added it and restarted the activity. So I mean, this this is awesome, guys. Super pumped about this feature. Uh, I mean, the, the the deployment time is really seamless. It's just really great. Um, it seems very intuitive. It just knows what you want. So um, another one one thing I like to test is you know what if I make a lot of changes? You know, I mean. Um, I can sit here and just kind of program a whole bunch of stuff, of course, and they may there may be some some changes that when you start adding you know hundreds of line of code, hundreds of hundreds of lines of code, then uh, you know it, it it may it may affect it, you know, and I can't say for sure yet because I haven't really tested that thoroughly. But even the deployment time, what I'm trying to get at is even when it doesn't, it still uh, deploys very fast, and there is an instance when it, what it what Android Studio will have to deploy, and that's on this intent. So this intent right here comes in here, guys, and it brings up this uh, bottom sheet example. But if I wanted to change it to where it instead brings up this activity right here, that's what I'll go ahead and do. And the code for that is simply right here. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change it. I'm going to change this code, which basically changed the action. So it changes this, this listener, it's an on click listener, and I'm going to change what happens on the actual click event. And what I'll do is I will accommodate the code. And this is the only change that I've made. And this can be just any string I want. So I'll just say testing instant run. All right. And now I will go ahead and run it. And look what happens here, guys. So this time, Android Studio saw that I made a change, a actual change that's gonna change the behavior of the app. So not just the style of the app. The, the ones I was doing before were, were the, the, the fragment was sort of a, a behavior, but also the look of it was gonna change. So and it was just adding on to something, but this is changing the, the actual behavior of the app. And Android Studio sees that 
and what it does is it has to go ahead and redeploy itself but even then i mean it wasn't really that fast it wasn't really i mean that slow it was very fast so let's go ahead and change this code back to see it once again to go back to the original intent okay and if you run it again we'll just see that it'll actually redeploy out and you'll see some more works doing being done on android studio but i mean the deployment is 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 just maybe another second or two versus the redeployment so i mean there's definitely some more stuff going on than just the instant run and i really think a lot of it um has to do with it talking about the android emulator and adb pushes speeds are a whopping 10 times faster so that's really coming into play right here and i really see that guys that's uh, i'm sure you do too so i'm really really pumped about that um very cool stuff so one more thing i like to try out is if i right now i have no changes um i've changed it back reran it so android studio should know if i have no changes so if i rerun it what it should do is just simply do nothing because what it does is uh, down here at the bottom notice that it says no changes to deploy don't show again moments ago so um this is really cool too because if i try to redeploy android studio is now smart enough to say well there's no reason to you've made no changes um all very very cool stuff uh so if i make one little small change to that the android studio should now pick that up and all it did was restart the activity because now it knows that it needs to change this title for the snack bar. All right, so so let's say we make a change. So we made a change there. Say we want to get rid of this fragment. And then we want to come into here and we want to, um, let's go ahead and add back that icon. Let's change this to false. Um, then we'll come into our styles and we'll change this code or this color to red. We'll do a hard uh, green here. And then we can come into our drawer view, which is the one that's which is, which is what holds the, the navigation view right here. So we can come into here and we can kind of just do, put some, just some text, just for, this, for the sake of making it a, a, a changes. So what I'm doing guys, I'm just kind of just coming in here and I'm, I'm just, making changes um, mostly to the UI portion of it and hoping that Android Studio will then pick it up. So I made a, quite a few changes um, both to the style um, and some to the actual Java code. So now when I go ahead and I rerun the app, notice that it still just picked up the changes and notice that it didn't have to redeploy. It simply just um, made live changes on the fly so uh, you know really cool really cool stuff and um hopefully this really exemplifies the the power really of the android emulator not so much not not only is it is it faster um just more fluid not all, all laggy uh like, like previous emulators before but coupled with the, with the new improved adb um with instant run the new feature i mean the the deployment time has really just is this nine day um, and this will really really speed up our workflow with android development so very excited about this guys um, if you do have any questions or if there's anything that you you know would like to see more on the instance run, instant run feature feel free to leave your comments below and as always thanks for watching